Adonai Marabu Parashat Miketz or Joseph passes Pharaoh's test and then tests his brothers. Pharaoh has two wild dreams which Joseph correctly interprets. Joseph rises up from prison to be Pharaoh's second in command. Joseph's brothers come down to Egypt to buy food to survive the famine. Joseph recognizes his brothers, but they don't recognize him. Joseph frames his brother Benjamin and moves to imprison him. Joseph's story is filled with dreams, dreams that come true, if not all at once. Recall that Joseph's brother has come down from Canaan to Egypt to buy food, to live out the famine. And they approach the, the second in command of the whole country and bow down to him. And in so doing, fulfill a dream. Here's the verse. Joseph was the ruler of the land. He provided food to all the people of the land. Joseph's brothers came and bowed low to him, faces to the ground. This was prophecy fulfilled. This was the dream finally realized. Remember? Remember those two fantastic dreams Joseph had when he was just 17? Of the brothers, of sheaves of grain bowing down to him of the sun, moon, and eleven stars, the rest of his family, bowing down to him. And here, it takes a couple decades, they're doing so. The brothers are bowing down to Joseph in respect for his position as ruler of Egypt. Now, of course, the brothers aren't aware this is Joseph. They don't realize they are fulfilling the prophecy. But Joseph, he must remember his dream. It was unforgettable. Is he aware that the dream of his youth is finally fulfilled? We don't know. The text doesn't say. In our lives, we all have dreams. And sometimes, if we work hard, and if we get lucky here and there, we reach them. Sometimes we may reach them, but be unaware of how far we've come. I hope that we have the awareness to know when we've reached our dreams. I think of two examples. The first is on the high holidays. Every year on the high holidays, I sit in my seat, and maybe you do too, and pray to God that this year be a year filled with, with life and with health, and that we live another year and make it to the high holidays next year. And yet, in that moment, I often forget to say, thank you, God, for giving me this past year Thank you for answering my prayers for from last high holidays and for every day in between to make it back here again. I'm there and I'm almost not even aware that this is what I prayed for. A second something I've dreamed for and hoped about is when I was young, I dreamed of playing soccer for my high school varsity team. And I played two seasons for many years and finally, finally, before my junior year, I made the varsity. And that first day, that second day was great. I was on a high. But after that, it was a grind. It was hard workouts, trying to make the starting lineup, and just going through the motions of like the hard work of being on a team. And only in the middle of the season did I look around and say, wait a minute, like this is what I was hoping for, and I've made it. And I should feel good about that. Whatever our dreams are, I hope we achieve them. But more than that, I hope that we appreciate it once we get there. If we climb a mountain, the whole point is to reach the top and to look around before we take the next step. 